Gotta go this way, too. We haven't been this way yet. Moths are attracted to flame. Oh, pest control! Fantastic. Just gonna go ahead and guess that something probably went terribly wrong down here. Um, Rex? You got somewhere to be, buddy? Just open the door and walk the fuck out. Species 1. A distant relative of the more commonly known Venus flytrap, species BE908, seems to be performing well. The plants are a threat due to... They're, they're a threat to creatures up to five times their size due to the violent nature of their closing maws. Those that aren't swallowed whole are often incapacitated by their initial bite. The plant's lack of mobility is offset by their ability to lure prey into reach by means of a nectar! Rex! Rex, you're under the influence of the nectar, man! They secrete from their bodies. Oh, that's the same one. My mistake. Mantis religiosa. Of all the species we brought with us, the common mantis exceeds the rest in terms of predation. The insects are voracious and their camouflage allows them to attack prey by surprise. Also, they complement our botanical specimens by hunting down those pests that avoid or escape other measures. Lastly, mantises will begin to cannibalize one another when the food is scarce, making their numbers self-regulating when prey is scarce. Boveria morticana. As uh, an entomopathogenic fungus, B. morticana has been developed to colonize the bodies of the more, most common pests. Once it has fully colonized a host body, the host technically dies, but the body continues to move by means of the fungal colony within it. In this manner, the fungus moves amongst more of its prey, occasionally spraying spores in a radius around the host body, infecting all who come near it. Its drawbacks include the time it takes to kill prey and its limited effectiveness when dealing with unsocial pests. A third drawback that's been proposed is that, you know, we've created zombie animals that, uh, you know, self perpetuate by infecting anything that comes within 10 or 20 yards of them uh, and, you know, thereby leading to the apocalypse and the death of everybody inside of this vault. But, uh, science knows no bounds! Alright. Well, I think that's where we came in. This is where Rex decided to go, because he doesn't give a fuck about anything. I didn't mean to reload. Spa Spore Carrier Savage. Alright, he's dead. I'm looking, I'm looking. <laughs> Do Michael Caine stuck in a well? Is anybody up yet? Hmm. I, uh, I appear to have fallen down. Some kind of water carrying vessel. A well? In the common parlance of all times. Ah! Oh! Okay, no, no. <laughs> no problem. I, uh, wasn't at all scared. It was really just that, uh, did that new attack that I've never seen. Just, uh, just a little scared. <gasps> Fucking, oh god, walk back, walk back. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think I can make it up there. What? Oh, hide. Hide. Okay, don't hide. Wait till you get to the jellyfish vault. I refuse to believe that such a thing exists. Hope you're looking, boss. Because I don't see so good. Wow. Oh, okay, the wah. I gotta admit, it scared me a little bit. Lucifer96, thank you very much. Rex, you got him, right? Yeah. It's a nice little salad for lunch. <laughs> if I had a bomb, I would put that there. <sighs> Alright. Oh, okay, we got a door we can open. Oh, we can do it, we can do it. I have faith. And now, when are you going to play Amnesia? I hope you can judge by this that the answer to that question is freaking never. I hear like, Bleh. I uh, I I get scared, man. I get scared sort of easily. Do you hear that? It's going rare. These caves just never end.
We're just getting fat experience here. Just a slow motion of Raul walking towards me. I guess Rex is going buck wild on some plant creatures up there. What in the fucking earth is this? Wah! No. Jakob Makel. Mackle, thank you very much for the subscription. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here at all. My pit boy is glowing green, man. What? Oh! What? What is this? I don't like this at all. What is on fire? I mean, I know I'm lighting everything on fire. Oh, it was Rex. Okay, no problem then. Good, okay. Just get the burn damage on him. Pretty sweet slow-mo. This area strikes me as a little confusing. I hate wide open spaces, man. What is this, a Dixie Chick song? I'm not going to open this Mantis Uwithiaika. What is this? Fucking torch it, I don't care. Oh my god, it's fucking Ridley raiding the alien nest. Oh my god! Alright. That's alright, we're doing okay down here. Oh! Don't hit me with your nectar, you dick! Oh my god, what? The little tiny babies? I, you gained the bug stomper perk. I don't like this at all. Also, why is the screen turning white? That sounds to me like it's time for a quick save. Oh, the experience is real. I hear bubbling. I don't want to hear bubbling. Bubbling is just... It's just acid and poison, that's it! Is this where we came from? I don't think so. I don't think so. It might actually be exactly where we came from. I think this is where we came from. Is there more down here that I missed? Use the air blast, you nub. I get it. I hate hearing this bubbling, man. Look at your local map. So we did explore everything but this little tunnel over here. I don't even know if we can get to this other tunnel. Um, okay, good idea. Set the quest beacon to the other one. Oh, it already is the other one, thankfully. There's nothing down there but a dead body. All right, sweet. Let's move it along here. Vault solved? Well, not really. Disengage lock. Alright. It has been done. Is this not where we entered the crystal caves of destruction? I'm so confused right now. Let me look. Is there a terminal over here that has... Y'all. Local map. This is my quest beacon. I gotta go to food production. Alright. Let's do so then. Oh, this is new. Okay. Yeah, don't look at the keyboard. Just look at the screen. Download research data. It is done. The It's completed. We completed the... The vault! We can leave now! We just need to find our way back to the elevator! Which is probably not this way now that I think about it. Move out of the way, Danny Trejo. There's someone trapped in the cavern, NL? What do I care about the man trapped in the cavern? 
I'm getting the hell out of here. This place is not worth my time. There's a lady and she's trapped here? She knew the risks, man. Leave her. Find the lady. Leave her. Oh, I, I am leaving her. Goodbye. Goodbye, Keely. She knew the risks. I'm not in this to be helping out everybody who needs help. Also, NL, take the elevator. Yeah, that's my plan. I just need to find my way back. Mostly, I'm just going to walk around until I take a sip from my trusty canteen. I'm so happy to be outside of this fucking vault. All right. Oh, yeah. I remember this is where Raul got stuck. And then it was like one of these two ways. Oh, wait. Elevator. Elevator. Oh. First level. Entrance. Hey, how many stim packs you got, NL? <laughs> Ooh, exactly as many as I need, apparently. The vault is complete! I also murdered all the plants. If Keely can't get out after that, then that's like her own personal problem. Woo! Alright. Let's quickly uh, resolve these quests. We have one at Camp McCarran. Might as well do. Don't forget they restocked the vending machine. <laughs> I wish. When you nut, but she knew the risk. Exactly, man. You can't fast travel inside of, uh, uh unless you're in the, the wasteland, man. I would love to have. Finish Brotherhood questline, get dope armor. I really wish that the brothers were just like, hey, you know, we've seen that you're like a superhuman soldier capable of unbelievable things. Like you murdered uh, the Mr. House and then, you know, pretty much made all of New Vegas your bitch. You killed many supernatural beings. You've had a brain and a heart transplant. Maybe we're not going to make you be our freaking errand boy. That's what bothers me is that they, they still have no respect for me. They're still like, hey, why don't you go get my mail for me? And I'll take a, a venti americano as well. Alright, go back to scientist town. If they saw how powerful you were, they wouldn't give you the armor. That's possibly true as well. Yo, don't be mad at me for getting that woman killed back there in... Um Back there in uh, the Boomer territory, they did know the risks. This really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? What is your problem, Carla Gugino? I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildren sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. None of them came back this time either. There was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Okay. No, Hildur men didn't mention anyone else. Technically true. But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed. Or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. Alright. Not my problem. Keeley's on her own. I know it's not your business to fend for anyone but yourself. If not for her, do it for the caps. That's all I'm asking. Alright, goodbye. I'm gonna leave you waiting forever because I don't like the plant vault. This dude's loving Farmville right uh, now. I was just wondering what had become of you. I brought the data. Wonderful. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. Um, by the way, you never warned me about the dangers in that place. Didn't I? 
Did you encounter undue difficulties? Clearly not, or you wouldn't be standing here, would you? All that matters is whether the data is intact. I really want to murder I this think guy. William's decryption algorithms seem to be working. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised. Yo, for real though, you really shouldn't grow these plants, man. Did you see the part about the fungus that spreads itself and, you know, makes a fucking zombie, like, army in here? Um, I agree. I've done more than my part. You owe me more caps. You want to renegotiate your contract? Hmm. This is a very serious matter. You do understand that, don't you? I realize that one's word counts for a little in the wasteland, but amongst civilized people, one doesn't just demand more than one has agreed to. Um, tell you what. All right, I'll sell this data to a more interested party. Now, wait a minute. And make sure you have some healthy competition. There's, there's no need to do anything rash. Naturally, OSI would be willing to negotiate for exclusive rights to that data. Here, take these caps. That's all of my contracting budget, and it's yours. All right, now, now that he's given us all the caps, let's murder him. I'm sure you understand. Exit's over there. You can show yourself out. Seriously, though. Yes? Something else A thousand know? experience? That's pretty okay. Um... No, like, I really need you to not use this data. Do you think I can kill this guy without being noticed? Tell you what. We're gonna do a save. I need to save the NCR, man! Okay, so we've saved. We're gonna crouch. We're gonna take out the axe. And we're going to cut his head off. Then we're going to put the axe away. And we're going to walk out. If you can find Keeley and keep her safe, I'll pay you what I can. I gave my word, and I meant it. Goodbye. All right. Let's never speak of this again. Who? <laughs> I closed the door so hopefully no other NPCs find out. I don't know. And I've saved the NCR from certain destruction. Alright, now we should go back to the Brotherhood. Um, Brotherhood is Hidden Valley. Hidden Valley. I guess I should just set my quests. Oh, I guess we don't need to go back to the Brotherhood yet. Instead, we could go to another vault. I'm gonna get some coffee, though. In the meantime, why don't you tell me what quest I should do now, in case I don't want to just, like, non-stop do, uh... Do vaults? Or maybe I should be non-stop doing vaults, but I'll, I'll be back in, like, less than 30 seconds. Do Vault 34. Brotherhood is pretty good to keep going through. Do all the Brotherhood stuff. Vaults are pretty cool. Do Vault 34. Okay. Search the vaults in the region for a reverse pulse cleaner. World map. I guess one is right over there. Vault 11 is right over here. What, what is this? Oh, that's just the Brotherhood itself. So this one is probably like Vault 34? I don't know. Is it? Yeah, the other one is Vault 11, which we could walk to. Do Vault 69? I haven't seen it yet. Power armor slows you down. I'll just put it on in combat. That's Vault 3. That one is Vault 3. 34 is more east. Alright, I haven't discovered yet. It's probably over here somewhere. 
Do Vault Rule 34? Vault 11 is awesome. All right, well, let's uh, freaking do Vault 11 then. I got to get outside first. That's my bad. All right. Vault 11, I believe. What is going on? Are we in like a dust storm or something? My contrast and brightness are all messed up here. Vault 34 is not part of this quest line. I understand. Okay. Well, let's do the... Um, Let's do the Brotherhood stuff. If I could finally finish that nonsense, that might be, uh, that might be smart. This is the wrong way. It's literally this way. Alright, here we go. It's rated third on scariest places in New Vegas. What, Vault 11? Where is Plant Vault? Please tell me it's number one. Ranger Bill! Ranger Bill! Thank you very much for the subscription. Much appreciated. Oh, is Vault 69 the one that's like a thousand women and only one man? I've been reading up a little bit of the of the lore. I've been going to r slash fallout wow. occasionally. Beyond the grave. Beyond the grave. Beyond the grave. I get it. Thank you very much for the subscription. Oh, Vault 69 was a thousand men and one woman. I got it reversed. Or did I get it reversed? Because some people seem to think that I was correct. I don't know. I could have been incorrect. No skin off my scrot. Go get Felicia Day as your companion? I'm gonna get Felicia Rashad as my companion. Vault 11 is over here. Alright. Where... Oh, where is my Vault 11? Oh, where, oh, where has my Vault 11 gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? Are there giant plant monsters that want to kill me? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? We're like right on top of it. Gonna turn to the right. It's this one. All right. Vault 11. I'm assuming it's probably like in the ground. Am I literally standing on top of it as we speak, or is it over this hill? Don't! You're gonna hurt- he's like, well, I'm gonna crouch lock boss unless my creaky old knees give us away. By the way, here's me doing like a 30 foot leap off of a boulder. And now, what do you suggest for someone who's never, never had coffee? You don't have to drink coffee, man. It's, uh... It's an acquired taste. It's a blessing and a curse, you know? Now that I drink coffee, I got so, you know a nice morning routine. But also, if I don't have it within like 45 minutes of waking up, I become a headachey husk of a man. So, you know, it's not like a crippling addiction or anything like that, but... I, uh... You know, I, I would almost recommend going as long as you can without it. Eventually, something will break your spirit because that's the way of the adult world, and you'll be like, ah, I need a coffee. But I didn't, I didn't drink coffee until I was in like my early to mid-twenties. Now I drink it all the time. I am now going the wrong way. Or is it the right way? I don't know. Well, this is what we were trying to get up anyway. And now, what do you suggest for chat wanting dad squad back? Fucking Raul is like 500 years old. He's the ultimate dad. I mean, Boone's pretty sweet as well, but he's had his time in the sun. It's Raul's day for now. You know that tea has wow. more caffeine than coffee. I'm not getting into, like, a TV coffee debate. They're both, like, consumed by billions of people. BJT Pokemon, thank you very much for the subscription. You want to drink tea? That's fine. You want to drink coffee? That's fine. I'm not going to look down on you either way. Raul is not a dad. Without a doubt, Raul is infertile as fuck. Yo, you can be infertile and still have been a dad in the past. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't dislike coffee, but every time I try it when I'm sleepy, it doesn't help me at all. I feel like you only really realize the effects of coffee once your body has become physiologically dependent on it. Like, 
before I started drinking coffee, waking up in the morning was not really that big of a problem. I mean, I'd like be tired, but there was no noticeable difference between me at like 9 a.m. and me at 1 p.m. I was like the same person. Post-coffee uh, addiction, that is not the case. Now it's like when I wake up, my brain does not work properly. But then at 11 a.m., it works like 10% better than my pre-coffee baseline. Okay. Where the hell are you wandering? I'm trying to find the freaking vault, man. It's over here somewhere. Dude, I'm pretty sure that's the placebo effect, NL. I don't think so, man. I don't think so. There we go. We found it. Vault 